Welcome to the University of Lusaka, and in particular, the School of Medicine and Health Sciences. Uh, my name is Mr. Kevin Chungu. I am the head of Department of Public Health. You must be excited to be part of this uh, university. We are also excited to receive you. But it's very important that we give you a few uh, information about what goes on when you join the University of Lusaka, and in particular, the School of Medicine and Health Sciences. Um, I should expect that you are going to be doing uh, the Bachelor of Science in Public Health. Well, uh, there are a few things that you need to know. When you join the Bachelor of Science in Public Health, you need to know that this is a very important uh, profession, uh, especially the, uh, considering the things that we are going through uh, as a world and as Zambia to be specific. You know, you've heard of uh, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, which is affecting the nation as well as uh, the world at large. Well, with this profession, you are going to work hand in hand with the World Health Organization, the Ministry of Health of Zambia, so that we control this pandemic. So it's also important that you make up your decision uh, properly as you join this profession. It's not something that you once, once you join now, it's to be played for, it's just any other degree. No, this is a very important degree that you're joining. So we are going to, um, give you what we call the student code of conduct so that you know about how to conduct yourself as you join this uh, profession or as you join the school of medicine and health sciences and in particular to do the bachelor of science uh, in public health well um a few things that you need to know are as follows number one we are the first institution in the country to run the bachelor of science in uh, public health. This means that we are quite experienced to train uh, professionals in this uh, field. So uh, I can tell you that our curriculum is up to date. Uh, we have put all the courses that you will need to be a, an exceptional profession in this uh, exceptional professional uh, in this career in this field of uh, public health. And we have also gathered together well-experienced lecturers, uh, those that come from the field, uh, which means they're in the corporate world, and those uh, that come straight from uh, academia, which means they have the updated uh, knowledge from uh, the, the, the world of public health or the world of health sciences. Uh, you should also know that um, considering the COVID-19 situation that we have, uh, the way in which now schools are being run is slightly different, which means that now everything will be done uh, online. So as University of Lusaka, we are prepared to train you uh, using online platforms. This is what we are calling now the e-learning platform. And uh, considering other orientations that have been given uh, by the IT department, you will note that uh, we're encouraging you to get the links on YouTube, which are showing you how to use the e-learning platforms. And because this is a new format of training, uh, not really, uh, sorry, this is uh, relatively new, it means that uh, some people don't know how to go about it. Therefore, there's a way in which we are teaching you to go about this uh, learning format. So as you go to the YouTube, uh, Unilas YouTube uh, channels, you will see there how it's supposed to be done. You are advised to consistently go to these uh, platforms so that you get the information, so that you get all the videos that your lecturers are going to be preparing, because this is now the new normal. You are, not you, you are not going to expect to sit in a classroom where a lecturer is going to be talking to you directly, no. But you are supposed to be dedicated, you are supposed to now make this serious decision that school has started, uh, which encourages you now to be every time uh, disciplined and following everything that we are posting as your department so that we are in tandem with, with this learning that is going to be uh, going on. So for the uh, timetables, you should also know that the timetables are posted on our website so that you know at what time the learning is going to be taking place and at what time you're supposed to connect to the e-learning platform so that you can get uh, direct lectures or uh, um, online lectures from your lecturers. That is very important. I would also advise that you form WhatsApp groups uh, where communication will be done as students. And in these WhatsApp groups, it's also important that you 
decide who are going to be your class reps. Uh, please take some time in deciding the class reps because this is somebody that is going to be representing you in terms of communicating to your lecturers as well as the head of department or any other University of Lusaka member of staff. But as University of Lusaka, we encourage that there should be communication, healthy communication between your uh, between the students as well as lecturers. So we're encouraging you that do not feel shy. You need to communicate as long as there's something that you need to know which is important about the university about your schooling you need to do this this is very important with the new format of learning or educating or training students now this means that even the assessments that we're going to be doing will be online uh, through online platforms the e-learning platform as i earlier mentioned so with the continuous assessment you expect that almost every now and then your lecturers are going to be sending assessments that you're supposed to be doing, and these will go to the marks. And that's how the University of Lusaka does its things. The continuous assessment are not something that you just do and then forget about the marks. The marks will go to the final mark of the exam. Uh, and in this case, for public health courses, we have continuous assessments, which are of a total of 30 in some courses and 40 in those courses where you do practicals. So uh, that 30 marks, you have to get as many, as much marks as you could, so that once you do the exam, which is uh, 70 marks, you, you also total that, so that you get a pass of at least 50%. If you get below 50%, you are failed. That's the cutoff mark for University of Lusaka. So continuous assessments will be uh, done in such a way that the lecturer will give you the assignment that you are going to do, and then they may give you some time for you to do the assignment and later on submit this assignment. But there are some situations where the uh, continuous assessment can be done in form of a test. Because of the uh, specifics that we have for the e-learning platform, it's possible that you can do the test on this at the same day that it's, it has been designed for you to answer. So you just have to be, um, uh, to be attentive to the requirements in the assignment or in the test that the lecturer is going to be giving you. Then there's the issue of practicals. So in public health, uh, in first year, first semester, you do practicals in Bachelor of Science, uh, sorry, in uh, BSPH triple one, which, which we call Refresher Chemistry and Biology or Refresher Biology and Chemistry. So the practicals in this case will involve you to do some observation of some uh, labs. Uh, initially, without the COVID-19, you, you used to go to the lab and then you do the practicals together with the tutor. But in this case, considering the situation that we are in, you're not able to do those uh, practicals. Hence, your tutors will be doing some observational practicals and later on, they will require you to do reports. So that's also very important. Those marks will still go to the final mark and the final grade. So I really want to thank you for joining the Invest of Lusaka. You are all welcome. Like I earlier said, uh, we are all excited to receive you. I wish you all the best in your endeavors and thank you so much.